Welcome back, Mark Werbel of True Spec Golf, joined by one of our lead master fitters here in Scottsdale, Arizona, Sam Kim. Thanks for having me. Today, we are gonna be hitting the new Apex Performance line. They're gonna offer three models here, Sam. So we have the 200, the 300, and a really, really surprising one, the Thai Fusion. Let's compare them all, see the differences. Is one more forgiving? Is one faster? Let's find out. Let's hit some of the AI 200. We are now in the bay. Sammy, we now have this on a golf club. I want you to tell me how it looks when you first set it down. What are your first impressions? My first thought is we've been waiting for this for a while. What, how long? Three years? Yeah, I think like three, three and a half years. Too long, I'm glad it's here. How's that top line look to you? It looks good. I wanna say maybe a little smaller than the original one or the last one that was out. The last Apex, like yeah. 2021, yeah. So a couple it, years. Okay. A little bigger than the Apex Pro, which you'd expect, right? Sure. It's not super offset, which is nice. I think it looks really good. I'm excited to hit it. Yeah, I think that badging is the first thing I notice. Yeah, that's actually a good point. You don't see any of that badging at a dress. Whereas on the old one, I think you see a little bit of it behind it, yep. but this one, you don't really see anything. Looks really good. Let's give it a rip. Let's do it. We are in Scottsdale, but it looks like we're actually kind of in Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Uh, 14th hole. First impressions, first hit, what'd you think? Good, turned over a little, feels really nice, really solid. For player's distance iron, it, it feels pretty soft, which is great. You look at people in that space, uh, competitors in that space, and you, you always are gonna have a forged face, and it's not always a fully uh, forged body though. So Callaway has a, a forged face as well as a forged body here. Uh, so the feel and the sound is all about tour level, if you will. The one thing you also hear about players distance irons, uh, Sammy, is maybe some jumpers. I don't know how often you're in the bay and you hear customers say that. The occasional hot one. The occasional hot one, right? So I think with Callaway and their AI technology now bringing this into the Apex line, uh, they're really, really harping on that spin uh, consistency, uh, ball speed consistency all across the face. The AI face. That's right. What's loft on this, do you know? Uh, that is 26 degrees. In the 200. In the 200. Yeah which is uh, fairly strong, right? But I think as, as fitters, we kind of look at, is descent angle proper? Is launch proper? If that's the case, uh, loft is what it is. Without a doubt. Good shot, Sammy. Great sample of that uh, AI 200 iron. Let's now get into the more forgiving 300. So Sammy, uh, higher the number uh, in our world, generally the more forgiving the golf club, right? So we go from 200, which is your player's distance, to now your 300, which is kind of the replacement to the current DCB. Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, so first impressions when you set that down. More offset, right? Yeah. Bigger top line. Definitely gonna help, we'd hope with that right miss a little bit from an offset standpoint. Um, and definitely a little bit bigger top line. It's not crazy, but it's definitely bigger. Ooh, that felt good. That was a good sound. Go in, down. Go in, down. <laughs> Went too good. far. Went too far, that was great, good strike. That felt really good. I wouldn't say that feels crazy different than the 200, which, good thing, right? Yeah, I think that's on purpose. Consistency throughout the line. These irons specifically from 200 to 300, I mean, it's for your serious golfer, right? It's for your 40 to 100 plus rounds a year guy, right? For sure. Wants that forge feel. Uh, but also maybe need a little bit of help. And also golf's hard enough. Golf's so hard. Give me all the forgiveness you can. <laughs> I'll take it all. See, that's great. That feels really good. Yeah, I mean, really, this is really gonna good. fall in like your game improvement category. And, and how often, Sammy, do you see a uh, forged iron in your game improvement category? Not as often, right? No, definitely not. But if you can get that feel and the forgiveness to go with it, this can be pretty popular. That's great, Sammy. That feels so good. Let's take a look at the Thai Fusion next. All right, Sammy, we have the Thai Fusion. Let's give this a couple swings and see what happens. So you notice a slightly darker finish there, right? A little bit. Yeah, how does that, it look? That looks cool. That's a really clean black. 
really sharp. That's going to be their uh, DLC finish, right? So it's a little Fine. bit more durable than the PVD stuff that you okay. typically see. How does that top line look, Sammy? I think it looks like the 200. From a top line standpoint, from an offset standpoint, it looks about the same. So almost like a player's distance look. Yeah, right? player's distance look, just in the, the sleek black finish. Ooh. That was a very different sound than I thought. Definitely a different sound. gonna make. Yeah. Right, so uh, the one thing about this, Sammy, is there's titanium in there, hence the tie fusion. You know what else has titanium is drivers. This is gonna be really, really fast on ball speeds. That's the hope here. That felt good. We'll take those. I can't get over how this looks. It looks so good. This and a black shaft will just be awesome. Yeah, I agree. I'm truthfully more surprised by the sound. Um, it sounds soft. It sounds fast, but that doesn't make any sense. But it does. Definitely different feeling and sounding for sure. All right, Sammy, let's hit one more and let's compare these to the 200 as well as the 300. All right, let's do it. Really good. All one ball? Maybe. Didn't curve quite enough. Great shot though. This feels awesome. All right, Sammy, we have a, a couple data points with the 200, the 300, as well as the TIE Fusion. Let's take a look at some of these data points and kind of see what stands out and maybe why it stands out. Yeah. Uh, when you're looking at this table, what's the first thing you, your, your eyes kind of go to? That TIE Fusion's fast. Yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. This ball speed with the 200, 300, fairly similar. Uh, that TIE Fusion is fast. Fast. Um, why do you think that is? Three is a lot. Three is a lot. It's gotta be that titanium, right? Titanium for sure. I mean, you got a set of mini drivers in that TIE Fusion uh, using that titanium face. Uh, and I think obviously the data shows with that ball speed. Uh, the next thing that I kind of look at as a fitter are launch conditions. Yep. Those launch angles, 16, 15, and 16 respectively for the 200, 300, and TIE Fusion. I think that would make sense, right? Give them the lofts a little bit. For sure, a little stronger in the 300 versus the 200. So launches a little less, spins a little lower. I think the main thing that I take away and knowing a little bit as you as a player, uh, that 300 doesn't have enough loft for you. But that 300, Sammy, that's not an iron for you. Sure. Right? I do think that's for the player who maybe actually opens up the face a little bit at impact, uh, therefore maybe adding some loft. So I think that does a good job of bringing that launch down. Spin rates are appropriate uh, given your delivery. But those ball speed and launch conditions, those are the first things that I kind of look at. I think also, Sammy, we touched on it a little bit earlier, the badging. Clean. Very clean. Super clean. Looks good. I think also worth noting too, probably that AI 200 paired up with the Apex Pro irons, be a good combo set. Totally agree, and I think they did that on purpose. 200 right. in the long irons, pros in the shorter irons. Agreed. Uh, right. from where, a long where, do, where does someone need that help is really what it comes down to, right? Yeah, without a doubt. Thanks for watching. Make sure to book your fitting at truespecgolf.com to hit the new Apex line as well as the new TIE Fusion.